I'm gonna get so drunk tonight, I'm gonna spray paint my balls the color. Ah! My drill sergeant senses tingling, but that can only mean one thing. The blue falcon strikes again. Ah! I'll save you for later. And the biggest blue falcon award goes to this article where the United States Navy gives a NAM, a Naval Achievement Medal, to a sailor for throwing their buddy under the bus and calling the authorities when they were hammered drunk instead of just taking care of them. Oh, we're giving out awards for that shit now? Of course, the Navy's giving out awards for fucking somebody in the ass. Whatever happened to loose lips sink ships? The article says that an unknown sailor was way too hammered and underage and this responsible seaman decided to blow him in and get an award for it. It's the military. Everybody in is either drinking, dipping, or smoking. When I was 18 years old, I was going out to strip clubs with my NCOs getting shit-faced hammered before I was getting on a deployment. If I could die for my country, you can bet your red, white, and blue butthole. I'm gonna go down to the nearest strip club and do some Jaeger bombs from between some massive stripper jugs before I ship out. What a dirty Karen you are. Look at this quote. She's happy to help her command and is excited because that award is gonna help her get promoted? Oh yeah, because the type of toxic leadership I need is the kind that throws people under the bus like a speed bump as I get on my military career. Onwards and upwards. A real leader would stand duty for this drunk son of a bitch let him sleep it off and then reap him out the next day without letting the higher ups know. But no, 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 no! We're gonna send everybody to the captain's mast! Hang from the rafters by their thumbs! Cause they got drunk! Jesse Puller would be rolling in his grave! That dude would go to the brig to go see the real Marines! Gangster shit! The article goes on to say that turning over your drunk shitmate isn't snitching, it's heroism at its finest. Oh, that's right. I just can't wait to see all the whistleblowers coming out from behind the curtains. Be popping up like those Navy SEALs on those lame-ass Navy commercials. <laughs> coming above the water and just going, well, I saw him over there and he did this thing. <laughs> heroism at its finest. Jesus Christ. Her hairline knows she's snitching so much that it's trying to get further away from her mouth. Imagine a sailor so dirty that even her hairline's crooked. I hope you enjoy sitting around alone at parties from now on with that one metal like a horrible game of pin the tail on the donkey, you jackass. What happened to the good old days of the Navy where there were a whole bunch of badass drunken soldiers taking the fight to anybody and then out drinking the shit out of them after they were done? Now you're just a floating barge of rats. Where's the camaraderie? Where's the teamwork? Where's taking care of your own? But here's the twist. She's not the blue fucking falcon. Quite the opposite. Whoever wrote this article is. Because this isn't the real story. The true story is that this fantastic female seaman was out wandering around being all fucking cool as shit. And some drunk ass sailor was out of his mind, hammered, and needed help. So she picked his ass up not knowing who the fuck he was. Except that he was one of her brothers in arms. Shoved him into her personal vehicle. Drove him on base. Took care of that motherfucker. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's a fucking B.O.B. right there. But let's turn our focus onto this Blue Falcon author, shall we? How about that quote where she says that she was really looking forward to supporting her command and couldn't wait to get that award so she could be promoted. It's gonna help her out that way. Never fucking happened. Turns out female sailor's been talking to a couple buddies of mine who've gotten in touch with me and those little lines of dialogue were a complete fabrication of bullshit. Somebody in the naval system wants all you guys and gals to snitch on each other because you might get an award for it. Don't you buy that motherfucking bullshit. I knew something was fucking fishy when I saw that line. I hope it's gonna get me promoted. What kind of weasel bullshit Nancy Pantsy nonsense crap is that? Nobody, not even the dirtiest of rats would be so bold as to make such a ridiculous statement that you would lovingly throw anybody underneath the bus just to further your career. No, that sounds like somebody in the command upstairs wants to prove a point and get all you good boys and girls to snitch on one another because he thinks you're not working hard enough looking down from this captain's mast. Ooh. I've got a question there, author of this here article. How is it gonna help her military career if she was getting out months after that award? 
kind of hard to get promoted if you're getting out of the goddamn Navy, isn't it? At first, I thought that this was some bullshit made up by Duffel Blog, and I thought it was a joke, but no. It's just some horrible piece of propaganda that some commander decided to shove down your fucking throats to make you think that everybody around you has got to rat you out. That is some conspiracy bullshit right there. So to you, Seaman Acevedo, I give you the coveted P.O.P. And to you, MC3 Cosmo Warrath, I'm gonna keep an eye out on you. Oh yeah. Oh boy. As I sit here editing this fucking video, I try to find the link that has the fucked up article in it, and look what I found. They edited it. They edited their original article so it didn't have the lies and bullshit the original one had. Thank God I took screenshots of all this shit and photos so I could put it in and you would know it's real. Oh, but oh, we're going to change all the shit that says that she threw somebody underneath the bus that this one used to have. But look, it's even got two different fucking authors. Somebody done fucked up and they had to get a whole new author. Oh, my God. I guess you know, somebody done fucked up when they decided to change an article they had posted back in November 20th, 2019. Wow, what a cover up. The conspiracy astounds me. It grows ever larger as the day passes. You're up, weirdo. Oh, the balls of that author to like put in all this false narrative stuff to try and get bros to like, Reach out and snitch on bros? Not cool, bro. But speaking of balls, you should probably think about ordering your own, like, lawnmower 3.0 by Manscaped, all right? Awesome. Because, like Drill said, like, loose lips sink ships. But gross dicks get no lips, bro. Zero lips for those, like, disgusting rods, man. Sailors know how important a clean barracks is. So how about you make sure your little swimmers are living in a place that's like totally upscale, bruh? Maybe you're not down to trimming it all the way to the dirt, bruh, but at least you can spice it up with a little bit of good smell stuff, man. Make that butthole smell like a Barbados Beach bro house, man. Nice. how I do? You sound like an idiot. Rude. Everybody 18 years old and above that's in is either drinking, dipping, or doing Butt stuff.